education is a power, and education is the future. And education is uh, everything we need for a better life. But are we confident that we are having a good education? For me, our Vietnamese education is challenging with a lot of backwards, but I believe that there is also some improvement. The first backward I think that we are facing is the thoughts of the teacher. There's a lot of uh, teachers that are not qualified enough. One of my previous um, friends being a teacher in a public school, and he shared with me that uh, his friend asked for his help for improving her speaking skill so she can uh, prepare for the IL class. So I just think in my head that, oh, then how can she deliver a good lectures for her students? Why she lack of some skill? And the second thing I realized is that the teaching methods is having a problem. So I spent myself like 16 years um, standing in school. I was used to be very proud for being a good student. I go to every single class and I take note very clearly. I listen to all of the teacher wording and learn by heart. And I think that it's enough. But after I graduation, I realized that it's not enough. I'm depressing myself because I'm not well prepared for the world, for the business world, for the outside world. And a lot of my friends during the class, they uh, admit that they didn't uh, afraid, they are afraid to raise their voice because they afraid that a teacher will criticize them, the peer will criticize them. And they think that maybe they it's just a like stupid question and no one will care about that. So imagine that you are in the class of 50 people and you're focusing on one single person, that's the teacher. So I think it's the, not a very good sign of a good education because it's killing the creativity, it's clearly killing the critical thinking, and it's killing the proactiveness. So even though like Vietnamese student is very good in math and we are very intelligent, but compared to the international students, we lack a lot of confidence. International students, they are more proactive, they raise a lot of questions, and they are very happy to exchange the ideas. So that is a very big difference that I see between Vietnamese and international students. So to address the two issues, I think that there's a trend now that people, like especially the government, they adopt a lot of new policy, so they attract a lot of investors. And um, a lot of international schools have been built. They increase the facility, and they adopt a lot of like modern model and curriculum from the developed countries. And I think it's a very smart move, because uh, we, uh, by obtaining the achievement from the developed country, we can shorten the gap very quickly. And like for my personal story, one of my niece tell her mom that when she was back from international school, she tell her parents that mom, if uh, you come to my uh, rooms, please knock the door. So for me, it's just a uh, casual talk, but it's convey a message that children now um, freely to express uh, themselves. So they're not afraid of being in school or not always have to be follow their parents' uh, guidance. So in general, I think that we are going on the right track. Like in the 1970s, if like comparing to um, China, Korea, Singapore, Vietnam are quite the same. But we are somehow like backward because of the teacher quality, because of the teaching method. But I believe that with adopting new t um, methodologies, I believe that maybe in the next 10 or 12 years, we can catch up very quickly. So in general, I hope that Vietnamese, Vietnam education can make a more synchronized effect. So every single person can enjoy a better education, not only for our generation, but also for the future generations.